What's good? What's going on? Was never media in the building. And I watched this video three to four times. And it's very, it's very crazy what she is saying. Because I'm about to go back. I got it on mute. Because I'm about to talk about it. We about to talk. So comment down below how you feel about this situation. And to show support, go to my website at www.wasnevermedia.com to purchase some merch. But now, I'm about to read it because I don't want to hear the voice. Because I watched it three to four times. So, huh, all right, she says, I expect the man to pay for the date. That's correct. Yes, so paying for the whole entire date, she's correct. That's a goal for the man to do that. And then she says, that includes my Uber to the date and my Uber back to her house. So before I go any further, you want the man that you deem to be the man for you to pay for your Uber to the date and after the date. Then... His question to you would be, where's your vehicle? Where's your car? Like, where's your transportation? Because if he has safe transportation, he'll come get you. He'll come get you and take you back home. But you want this man to pay for an Uber for you. And Uber costs a lot of money there and back so I know I'm pausing a lot because I'm yawning and she says that includes my Uber to the date and my Uber back to my house and that is why the dating pool in this generation is toxic for this right here that is above me now. For money to be the main thing for somebody to be deemed as a choice. Like, once money is gone, then what? Then what? Then she says, what does she say? She said, if you are a man that I'm interested in. Okay. So, let's say, hypothetically speaking, this woman is interested in a man. The way that you are speaking right now, I don't think a man would be interested in the way you are talking because you are basing on being interested in them on what they can provide for you. Because if this woman is looking for someone it's more of a helpmate situation like it's like a give and take it's like reciprocating love to your spouse significant other but she is not one to go that way she doesn't want to go that way because the other women under this post, 
are even saying that she's delusional. If other women are saying that she's delusional and not agreeing with her, should make some kind of value to her. And one girl said the Lulu. Some people said she's rude. Um, what else? She says, I want to see that you can provide for me. Okay. So she wants to see if a man that she's interested in could provide for her. And then in that same retrospect, what is she going to provide for the man? Because if he's giving and she's receiving, what is she going to return to him? You get where I'm going with this? She's, she's the taker. This, this is a give and take situation. And she's doing all the taking, but she's not talking about giving to a man. So, the toxicity of this right here is crazy. Did she do this just to go viral or, or what? Let me see what else. She says, I want to see that you can afford an Uber ride. She wants to see if physically, if you can afford for me to get here or there. It shouldn't take for someone to spend money to show you that they can do what they said they can do. This is what happens when you equate money over love, over, over relationships, over power in the relationship. So that's crazy. I want to see that you can afford a nice dinner date. Dinner dates now are not how they used to be. Dinner dates were like amazing. Like now they want want you to spend between a hundred to two fifty, but they're not giving you conversation. So. She said, she said, you certainly can't afford my bills and I got bills to pay. Okay. Um, if this woman is not married, if the man she's interested in is not married to her, he doesn't really have to help you with the bills if he does not live there with you. I can see in that aspect, but she's very delusional. And comment down below how you feel about this because I am distraught in what's going on here. Peace.